Hey guys, I'm a curious gopher, and I am here gonna be playing Arafel, I guess is how you pronounce it. It's a, uh, it's actually, it's, it's made in RPG Maker 2003, I believe. And this game has been around on the internet for a while. I think someone in a comment somewhere said something like 10 years. But it was just now, a day or two ago, released on Steam. And I hadn't really heard about it until I saw it had just been released on Steam. And I was like, oh, I'll give that a shot. So let's give this a shot. There's no controller support at all. It seems to be completely with keyboard, but... Would you like to have access to the story mode ability? It allows you to kill enemies instantly. No, because I'm not a bitch. Would you like to enable brief tutorials? Yes, please. You can change this setting by opening the item menu and using the utility tutorials item. Okay. Would you like to play through the prologue? It is recommended that new players do not skip it. Sure, let's play through the prologue. I'd like to know what's going on. Stegosoft Games presents. They're definitely going for a, uh, Lita, how much farther is this place? You better not have dragged me all the way out here for nothing. Adrian, we're getting close, and trust me, it's here. A game by Stephen Anthony. I'm not sure if... So Stephen Anthony was the guy who made the old version of this game. I don't know if Stegosoft is, like, he... That's still just him, or if there are more people working on it with him. Arafel. But yeah, they're going for the old, like... SNES RPG feel from like Chrono Trigger or Final Fantasy 6 or 3 depending on where you live. Lita, what are we even looking for? The archery competition is tomorrow and Papa was something. Adrian, a ring. I don't know anything about it, but my contact is paying a fortune for this thing. I think she said, Lita, it's awfully late. What if there are vampires around here? I'm not advancing this at all, by the way. Adrian, vampires don't come this far north. Stop worrying. We're going to be fine. So there are vampires in this world. I believe Lita said something about Father's going to take them hunting. I don't know. I just glanced at it. Prologue. You can go back and read it for yourself. With the power of YouTube. Lita, wow, that's a really big door. Mm, okay, so this I'm advancing myself. Yep, there are elven ruins behind it. That's what everyone says anyway. It's been sealed for a long time. Nobody has ever been able to open it, but that's not why we're here. I got a tip that there's another door that opens a secret passage. A secret passage, huh? Well, that does sound kind of fun. <laughs> but, uh, who is this contact of yours anyway? I love adventuring as much as the next girl, but this whole trip seems kind of weird to me. I mean, we're really looking for a hidden passage in a cave with an ancient sealed door that nobody's ever been able to open? Yeah, I know. My contact is a, is a some kind of collector or something. I don't really know the details. So apparently, despite 10 years of development, they never bothered to proofread any of this text. What I do know is that whatever it is he wants, he thinks is here. That's the beginning and the end of the conversation, far as I'm concerned. All right. Sounds like you've never even met this guy. Because I haven't. His people come to me with a gig. I do it. I get paid. Simple. Oh, Lord. And this job pays more than all the other ones combined, which means you're probably going to die. So less talking and more looking, okay? So why did you bring her with you for this? It's your job. <laughs> Alright, fine, but I want double my share if Papa grounds me. Deal, let's not get caught. Now then, if there's a hidden door in here, we have to find it. You look around, I'll check over here. Alright, so I'm controlling Lita. And I have no idea. Alright, so... Can I save anywhere? Okay, I did save there. Although the... So the sound for the save... There's no unique sound, so I didn't even realize I had saved. Uh, there are just... Jesus Christ. So Z through... N? Every one of them opens the menu right now. Well, no, Z doesn't. 
Z is like interact with stuff, I guess. And okay. Oh, and I can move with. Well, no, not A. What the hell? Uh, I can move with. How do I go? What the shit? U H J L is a way to move. Oh, no, not U. Oh. The shit, man. So you, I guess it's K, K, J, U, L is like a W, A, S, D for some reason. But I'm going to use the arrow keys because that isn't insane. And then, yeah, okay, as far as I can tell. Whoa, whoa, what? What is that? Oh. So that's one. Two is nothing. That's three. I can crawl around. <laughs> okay. There was, there was no list of anything, any kind of uh, list of keys, as far as I could tell. So I'm pretty sure I have to find, oh, here we go. Yeah, so Z interacts with stuff in the environment. Statues of the goddess. There are statues like this all over Arafel, but nobody knows who built them. Okay. Looking for a secret door. Oh, there it is. Found it. Uh, Adrian, I think I found it. <laughs> yeah, let me see. I'm just laughing because it was so easy to find. After all this time. This has got to be it. Ready to go inside? I mean, I guess. As I'll ever be. More ruins. Wow, look at this place. It's like there was an old castle under here or something. What do you think this is? Abyss if I know. Okay. I get it. Just be careful. Who knows what kind of monsters are hiding here. Oh lord. Monsters, if I didn't know better, I'd say you sound worried. It's uh, well this place is supposed to be haunted. You're joking. <laughs> we open a secret door to find a lost treasure that's been hidden away for a thousand years in a haunted ruin. She seems unhappy. Possibly. Well, this is lovely. I can't imagine what could go wrong. Just watch yourself in here. I'm sure we'll be fine. It's probably just a legend anyway. Just a legend. They're going to etch that on your tombstone. <laughs> Let's go. Alright, so we got both of them. They're both level one. Uh, items. This is Arafel's map. Teleport crystals and Leah's approximate location are displayed here. Okay. Press enter to switch between the Highlands and Diane's Gully. Press escape to quit. The main quest is indicated with a red exclamation point. Keep in mind that you may need to switch maps to see it. Side quests are not shown. Use quest items for directions. Okay. So yeah, I can move around the map, but I'm at the very top of it. Uh, and then... There we go. Uh, what other items do they have? Quest, main quest. This is interesting. Like they had to go out of their way to add items in order to simulate things that I guess... The RPG Maker engine just didn't allow. Damn, this bridge is broken. I wonder if there's another way across. You know, I think I could jump it. Oh, come on, you'll kill yourself. You sound like my mother. I can make this easy, just watch. You say so. Press the one key, yeah, to jump over some small gaps like this one, as well as up broken stairs. Move all the way to the edge of what you intend to jump. If you can't jump, try moving away and back to the area you want to jump over. There, that wasn't so bad. Here, you try now. Ugh, you know this armor isn't exactly made for jumping, Lita. You'll be fine, you big baby. Come on. Oh, this is a great way to die. How is this a great way to die? It's a terrible way to die. You thought you could make a jump and you didn't. Alright, hold on. That's just like the stupidest way to die. Ow, damn it. See, easy. Hey, are you alright? He has a green exclamation point above his head. 
uh, it wants me to talk to him. So I will, I better see if Adrian is okay. <sighs> Fine. Arg, I landed funny, rolled my ankle. It's nothing serious, but hiking through here will be tough. How about you do me a favor? Can you make me a life potion? I don't know how. It's easy enough. Just find me some herbs, a few crystals, and a little stardust. I'll show you how to do it. <sighs> Crafting. Great. There might be some around here somewhere. You received a quest. Quests are kept in the item menu. Of course they are. Select a quest to see its details. Ah, uh, lord. Alright. It's in the item menu. Quest. A potion. Okay, search for stardust, a crystal, and an herb to make a life potion one for Adrian. Return to him once you have all the ingredients. Alright, well that's probably a good place to end this first episode. Barely got anywhere, but we're, we're learning, and I'm looking forward to playing this game. I haven't played, really haven't played an old school RPG like this in a while. I'm trying to remember the last time I actually went back and played anything from the SNES days. I play Mega Man X and Link to the Past a lot, but it's not. Neither of those are really an RPG. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.